In this video, we will study about male Marchensia. Reproduction in Marchensia occurs by means of sex organ and thridium and archegonium. And thridium is its male sex organ. So in this video, we will discuss about its structure of enthridium and how they are born in Marchensia. Now, male sex organ is called as enthridium. And enthridia, they are born on the, this is the main thallus of Marchensia. Now, they are born on this receptacle, right, which is called as enthridiophore, right. This is the stalk of the enthridiophore and this part is disc of the enthridiophore. So we can call this disc of the enthridiophore, uh, which is showing eight radiating rows, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And its shape is also concave, like this is concave in outline. So we can see enthridiophore, they are made up of long stalk and a terminal disc. And the stalk is about one to three centimeter in length, right? So it is made up of long stalk and a terminal disc. Stalk is one to three centimeter long cylindrical and disc of the enthridiophore is eight lobed disc is thick in the middle and thin toward the margin upper surface of the disc is concave in outline right now if we see the marchensia this is like this real marchensia uh, thallus and this part is the uh, disc of the enthridiophore now this disc is having enthridia i mean this disc will carry the enthridia in these radiating rows so we can see here also this is the stalk and this is the disc and here enthridia are present on the disc of the enthridiophore and this is the main thallus showing mid dorsal groove apical notch and this is attached to substratum by means of rhizoids now uh, if we cut its ls ls like if we cut ls of this right ls is longitudinal section so we can see this structure right when we cut ls of enthridiophore we can see this is the uh, stalk of the enthridiophore right and we can see this zone is showing the same structure like that of the thallus of the marchensia uh, to uh, see the anatomy of marchensia thallus uh, we, you can watch my video of marchensia anatomy link is shared in the description box here also we can see enthridiophore is showing a similar structure to the thallus this is showing these are barrel shaped pores and these are assimilatory filaments and this is called as assimilatory zone and these are air chambers which are opening by means of an opening here by stoma barrel shaped pores right now enthridia are present on the enthridiophore inside the cavities we can see these are the cavities right so in each cavity we can see one enthridium is present right now this disc is thick in the middle and this is thin toward the margins and we can see here uh, oldest enthridium are present in the central part and youngest are present toward the margin. So this is also, also called as acropetalous succession. Acropetalous succession. So enthridiophore here, this is thick in the middle, thin toward the margin, having enthridial chambers in which enthridia are present. Enthridia are born in acropetalous fashion and this opening of the enthridial chamber is also called as osteole. This is called as osteole right so we can see the characteristics uh, air chambers they alternate with the enthridial chambers like this is the enthridial chamber this is the air chamber enthridial chamber air chamber enthridial chamber air chamber so they are alternating with each other air chambers they are opening by means of barrel shaped pores air chamber they also possess the assimilatory filament this assimilatory filament have chloroplast and they will help in photosynthesis now enthridial chamber they will open by means of an opening. This is called as osteole. Enthridia are born in acropetalous succession, like oldest, they are present in the center and youngest toward the margin. Now, if we see the structure of each enthridium, right, in detail, so we can see here, each enthridium is having a multicellular stalk. This is the multicellular stalk and this is single layered jacket, right? How we can make this uh, enthridium jacket? I'll just show you how to make it. Like we can make it like this, like we can make the jacket like this. Then it encloses 
large number of androcyte mother cells so what is the exact technique to make it we can make it like this we can make the diagram like this right so each cell here right this is called as each cell is called as androcyte mother cell this is called as androcyte mother cell each cell of androcyte mother cell right if this is androcyte mother cell this will give rise to entherozoid entherozoid is spermatozoid or sperm or male gamete of the marchantia so this is the male gamete which is being produced from the androcyte mother cell this will metamorphose to form entherozoid now each entherozoid is having elongated nucleus this is elongated nucleus and whatever cytoplasm remain that will be present in the form of vesicle and it has two flagella so this is called as biflagellated in nature so because of these two flagella this can move from one enthridium and this can reach toward the archegonium so we can say it has a multicellular stalk oval body which is bounded by single layer jacket which encloses large number of androcyte mother cell and each androcyte mother cell metamorphoses to form the entherozoid now this entherozoid can reach toward the archegonia for fertilization now how does adhesions of the enthridium take place like we we have seen here these are the enthridia present over here and uh, and marchantia grows in moist shady places so when water is available now its jacket will imbibe water this will swell up and when this will swell up uh, as entherozoid have been produced inside the body of the enthridium and this will swell up this will dehisce open to liberate the spermatozoid right so we can see here lot of spermatozoid will be removed they will come out from this pore toward the outer side now these are spermatozoid uh, which will come up through this ostiole toward the outer side and because of the water current they may reach toward the archegonia for fertilization uh, so this is all about male marchantia uh, thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe if you have any questions please ask me in the comment box